Hi, I'm Amory Rossi, and I'm an artist member of the Mongo Foundation for the Arts. I am here with Eileen Mayu, who is a founding artist member of Imago. Eileen received her BFA in painting from the Lyme Academy of Fine Arts in 2003. However, Eileen has been painting professionally since 1974. That means she's actually been painting for 47 years. Congrats, Eileen, and welcome. Eileen, would you say that you are um, specialized in painting portraits or landscapes? Uh, well, portraits have always been my specialty, uh, but I do spend a lot of time doing uh, landscapes, seascapes, uh, still lifes. Sometimes I combine uh, figures in an interior or figures in a landscape, but I do a lot of uh, portraits of families. And I've done a few formal portraits as well. At the beginning of this interview, we showed uh, the audience a picture of Abraham Lincoln. It was a painting of Abraham Lincoln you did, when did you do the painting? 2011. 2011, and why did you paint that portrait? Well, it was a call to artists for uh, a competition to decide who would replace uh, the original portrait of Abraham Lincoln that was hanging in uh, the city of Norwich, Norwich, the city hall. It actually had been stolen right out of the frame in 1994. And so I responded to that call for artists because I felt like it was right up my alley. You received an award for that portrait? Well, there were 62 entries in all, and I was one of the 12 finalists. And out of the 12 finalists, they chose the, the painting that would replace the stolen Lincoln portrait. And did you recently donate that portrait? I did, yes. I donated it to the town of Lincoln, Rhode Island. Uh, and the reason I did that was because the, the town of Lincoln was actually named after Abraham Lincoln. He had visited that area. Uh, I guess he was on, a on the campaign trail because he had visited Norwich around the same time. And so uh, after, after he died, uh, they uh, separated from the town of Smithfield and became their own entity and took the name of Lincoln. Interesting, I didn't know that. And I was born and raised in Rhode Island. Um, did, have you done any other uh, portraits? Oh yes, many. I've done so many that people come up to me uh, or, and say, you know, that I've done portraits for them and I've done so many, I don't even remember it. So yeah, it's many, many down through the years. And I've done quite a few uh, uh, portraits for uh, public settings as well. Uh, I've got a portrait of Judge Anthony Dennis in the Bristol Town Hall. I did a portrait of George Sisson. He's the father of the East Bay bike path and also instrumental in uh, restoring the original Bristol uh, State House. Well, the original State House is located in Bristol. It's a historic uh, uh, building. And the, the painting is hanging in that building and several, several other public portraits as well. And do you have any other portraits that are hanging in public places? Uh, I do. Uh, the Kikimut Village, I have a portrait hanging in there and, and uh, the Italo American Club. I did a portrait of one of the presidents. Uh, and I've done some public figures as well. What would you say is your, your, uh, your most difficult portrait? Um, uh, well, actually, I was just thinking of one that was that was, was quite a challenge, and that was a, a painting I did of Dave Matthews playing the, uh, the guitar, and painting the guitar was quite a challenge. I <laughs> spoke to a couple of other portrait artists at the time, and they said that uh, they would have a hard time tackling that, but it came out pretty well. Is that the famous Dave Matthews? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't do it. I did it as a commission for a family member. She was giving it to her boyfriend. Wow, congrats. So, so the guitar was difficult. Do you have any, um, do you, any funny stories of things that have happened to you while you were doing painting someone's portrait? Well, lots of funny things happened to me while I was on the uh, portrait trail as a, as a sketch artist. I did that for about 20 years. What is the portrait trail? Well, uh, I guess you could call it uh, a tour 
I would do poor, uh, malls and uh, art fairs and festivals. And, and I would do the uh, portraits of people right there on the spot. And for a while I had, uh, I, ha I was invited to work at North Dartmouth Mall where I did oil paintings and pastel right there in, in the mall. They gave me a little, they gave me a little storefront and I worked there for, for two years. Wow. And Painting and, people's uh, portraits, not caricatures, yeah. but their actual portraits. But the funniest thing was uh, one time I was actually at Lincoln Mall uh, doing a portrait right in the center of the mall. And uh, it, I was doing somebody who was sitting for me and it was like everybody was quiet and I heard a little bit of whispering in the background and I turned around and I saw maybe about 50 people standing around in a big semicircle watching me and they were, you could hear a pin drop, except for the little whispers every once in a while. At that point, I had a little bit of stage fright because I wasn't quite prepared for that. But I got used to that, people watching me paint. That was, that was, a, it went with the territory. Well, almost 50 years of painting, there have to be a lot of stories. Well, I was at the uh, Narragansett Art Festival doing portraits and when a, a squall came up and I, like 70 mile an hour winds. Wow. Drive, driving rain sideways and we were under a big circus tent. And all of a sudden the wind took the tent up in the air and you could see the, the stanchions and everything coming out of the ground that was holding it down. And we had to run out for our lives and it just came crashing down on all our equipment. And uh, I lost all my pastels that day. Once they oh. cleared off the, the tent, I went back the next day and it was just a big t colorful puddle. <laughs> oh, please. Well, you've also, you also have done some pet portraits, don't, haven't you? Oh yeah, that, that actually is my favorite thing to do. And every, every pet is just like a person. They all have their own expressions, their own personality. And uh, I try to capture that. That's what I go for when I do a portrait. I try to look at, to see what is uh, essential about the characteristics of the face of each individual person. And they're kind of like fingerprints. Everyone is completely different. The structure's the same, but the shapes vary. So your painting style is realistic. You try to capture the actual uh, face of the person you're portraying. It's the natural world that's my focus. Everything about the natural world is just about the way the light falls on things, the really the color that it creates. Just that's what captures my attention. So it's keeping your attention after all this time. I, I never get bored, especially with portraits. I mean, how can you get bored, bored doing portraits that each particular portrait, whether it's a pet, uh, a man, woman, child, uh, if, if I, I do houses and boats. They all have their challenges. It always keeps me interested. And your, your primary mediums are oil and pastel or just? Oil, pastel, charcoal, graphite, watercolor, acrylic. I, I, I learned a long time ago, it's important to uh, be proficient in many different mediums. I've even done sculpture. Oh, have you done, have you ever done caricatures? No, I leave that to the character. Did you ever get anyone angry at you for pet, because your 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 portrait looked too much like like them? No, not at all. I actually had someone get mad at me. Because, not mad at me. He was like, "Did you really have to paint all those wrinkles in?" <laughs> well, you know, one of my favorite uh, portrait artists is John Singer Sargent, and his philosophy was to uh, flatter the portrait. Uh, subject. I guess I didn't learn that lesson. <laughs> and another thing is when you see when you see uh, wrinkles, there, a lot of people would paint them as lines. I don't. I looked at, at them as as kind of soft ridges, and I soften. There's no lines. I soften it so that it, it becomes flattering. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll let you paint my flattering lines. Um, so. Thank you very much. Um, what we're gonna do now is, is show a few uh, slides of some of those portraits that you were just talking about. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 